Hi all, I am Abhishek and today I will walk you through a very simple topic on how to build Azure function using Visual Studio Code IDE. Here I will not get into details of what Azure function is. As a prerequisite to this video, you should be knowing about this. I will just talk on how we can build an Azure function using Visual Studio Code IDE. If you don't know what Azure function is or any basic knowledge of this, then I would suggest to go back, have a look at Azure function, what it is, and then come down here. It will make more sense to this. Okay, so let's get started. I have already opened the Visual Studio Code. As a first step, I need to install the Visual Studio Code extension for Azure function. So let me search this here. And here I am. And this is the extension for Azure Functions and it is from Microsoft Vendor. Okay, let me install this. The Azure Function extension has been installed and you can see this Azure icon out here in Visual Studio Code. Let me go there and you can see the options like uh, signing into Azure, creating a free Azure account, I will not be signing into to Azure as of now. Let me first build the Azure function. Okay. Let me click on create a new project. I need can browse where I want to keep it. Let me keep it here in under this Visual code. Now I need to select the language. Let me do it JavaScript and the version of the Azure function. Let not let me not take an older version V1 or rather a version that is in preview. Let me pick this up. Azure Functions v2 that should be a stable one. Okay, now then we need to give which trigger we need to use. So we all know trigger is a very important aspect while building an Azure function. So basically this helps in invoking the Azure function. We can invoke the Azure function with any of these triggers, maybe a blob storage trigger or a Cosmos DB trigger or a durable function HTTP starter trigger, anything. And uh, for simplicity, let me select HTTP trigger for our demonstration. This is the simplest of all the triggers. Now I need to give the name for the function. So let me give it as my function app demo. Okay. Now let me hit on enter. Then it will ask for the authorization level. Let me give the authorization level as anonymous. Okay. So this will go ahead and create a project and you can see here our project is created uh, a function an Azure function is created using JavaScript out here. Okay, so now let me run this. So when I run this, I get this uh, warning or rather like this information saying that you must have the Azure function core tools installed to debug your function. So let me install this. Once the installation is complete, then the simulator starts off. You can see like all the function start informations are logged out here. The simulator starts off and it is hosted locally. So let me find the link out here in the emulator. Here it is. Let me browse this. I'll open my Chrome browser. Let me see what it says. Okay, this is the default app code that Microsoft by default uh, generates for us. Let me pass name as a query string parameter and see it works. Okay, now suppose I want to debug this. So let me attach a debugger. Uh, maybe here. Okay. Now let me run this. Or rather refresh the browser. And you can see it breaks here. Now that we have seen how to build an Azure function using Visual Studio Code, we could debug it, we could run it. Now let us see how to deploy it to Azure. For that, I can hit on this like deploy to function app then I need to sign into Azure
let me give my credentials so we are now signed in now i need to select my subscription let me select this subscription then let me do ok it will ask whether i want to get a new function app in azure or in an advanced mode let me go with the simple mode so i need to give a function name function it should be unique actually so this is a unique name let me hit enter let me select the runtime let me select east us now it will go ahead and create the azure function in azure portal and deploy this function there let me expand this i'll show you a few more things so here you can see my function listed here if you want to add one more function or uh, you need to add some new functions you can hit on this create function button and get going now you can see my deployment has been completed okay so this is what i had planned for today i hope you like the video stay tuned for more exciting videos coming in the way